I'm on Ford Island in the heart of Pearl Harbor, home of the Pacific Aviation Museum, recognized as one of the top aviation attractions in the U.S. This is the B-17 Flying Fortress. It's probably the most famous American airplane of World War II. And this particular plane flew in Hawaii for about a month doing anti-submarine patrols. But the thing is, if we restore this airplane, there would be nothing left of the original. And so we're stabilizing it as what you call a relic. And it is the only B-17 in the world that still has its original battle damage. If you look up there in the tail, you see all the holes in the tail from the Japanese chasing this thing. And it's, you know, it's an icon of World War II and uh, one of the major things that won the war in Europe. To control these things, they used a control tower. So let's go over and look at the control tower here on Fort Island. So Burrow, I'm a young Navy man here, December 7th, 1941, and I'm standing up here. What, what's, what's my view? What's happening right now? Kind of try to paint the picture for me. Ironically, the weather today looks very much like it did on the day of the Pearl Harbor attack. There are a lot of dark, low-hanging clouds with some blue patches in space. But the Japanese, when they came in, they came in from multiple directions, about a dozen different directions. The dive bombers came from one angle, the torpedo planes came from another angle, the fighters came from all different angles. And they not just hit Pearl Harbor, they hit all the airfields in the area, trying to knock out as many airplanes as possible. The day after the attack, people started taking pictures around here. And we've got at least one picture showing Hangar 37 from this angle, and this railing is visible in the picture. Oh, wow. 